So what is a veteran? Veterans are people who have served in the military in times of, the, of war and peace. Veterans have served in one of these branches. As you read about each of the branches, highlight, highlight their jobs, and we're gonna underline them again. The Army is the oldest and largest branch of military. The Army uses ground troops to protect the United States. They have the largest helicopter wing of all the services. Marines are trained to fight by land and sea. The Marine Corps is often the first is often the first service on the ground in combat situations. The Marines are, are supported by the Navy as they do not have any medical workers. The Navy defends our rights to use the oceans for travel and trade. They use aircraft carriers so that they have a runway at sea for their aircraft. Navy SEALs are some of the most elite fighters. The Air Force, protect, the Air Force protects America in the air, space, and cyberspace. They operate craft, aircraft, and helicopters. The Air Force provides air during ground missions. The Coast Guard protects the most the protect America's coast and waterways and deploys the Navy during wars. During times of peace, they deal with boat safety, sea rescues, and illegal immigration by sea. Can you see Do you want to read this one? Yep. All right. World War I was a huge war in the early 19s. 19s? 1900s. Over 65 million men and women in more than eight nations fought in the war. World War I ended, ar uh, ended armistice. Armistice is an agreement made by opposing sides in war to stop fighting for the celebration of war to the end of all wars. In 1941, the soldiers from World War II was buried in Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. Two more younger soldiers became the place to show respect and for American veterans. The red poppy became a symbol of World War I because these red farmers bloomed on the worst battlefields during the war. This color became a symbol of blood spilled in the war. The war is the 20th and 21st century. Unfortunately, World War I was not the war to end of all worlds. Soldiers have continued to fight for our freedom with World War I. Right. So hold on for me, Kyle. We're going to go through each of the wars. We're going to talk about the wars, their years that they were in, and the locations of them. So we have World War I, and it was, it was in progress from 1914 to 1918 in the Atlantic Ocean Europe. World War II was from 1939 to 1945 in Europe, Asia, Australia, Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Korean War was from 1950 to 1953 in North and South Korea. Vietnam War was from 1954 through 1975 in Southeast Asia. The Persian Gulf War was from 1990 to 1991 in Iraq and Kuwait. War in Afghanistan was from 2001 till today. 2020. 2020, yeah. In Afghanistan. Iraq War was from 2003 to 2011 in Iraq. So we have some wars that we have been fighting for a very long time. And as you can see, war in Afghanistan is still going on today. Yeah. This has happened from, I want to say, when did the war start in 2001? After... Was after, after September 11. Right after September 11th, exactly. Yeah, because then they went to Afghanistan. Did you know a dog threw a mask behind that? A dog? Did they? Really? Yeah, a dog threw a mask behind that. All right, so let's look at some more history of Veterans Day. Only a few years after Armistice Day officially got its name, World War II broke out in Europe. 16.5 million Americans fought in this war, and 407,000 of them died. President Eisenhower, President Eisenhower realized that there were many more veterans to honor besides those who fought in World War I. 
1954, a year after the end of the Korean War, he proclaimed November 11th as National Veterans Day. More unknown heroes were buried near the tomb of unknown soldiers. To honor these men and to symbolize all Americans who gave their lives in war, an American honor guard keeps watch over that tomb day and night. So remember, veterans are heroes who fought for our freedom every day, and we need to show them appreciation. Right? And so under, at the end of this, it says, do you know a veteran? Thank them. Write them a letter, write a letter to a veteran. Go here to find out how. So if we have time later, we will write a thank you note as a class to a veteran and we'll send it out. So let's go to our time, on the back, there's a timeline and we're gonna go through our papers again and fill out what our timeline says. We will go through this together, I will go through it with you. So in 1918, does anybody remember what happened in 1918? Yes, what do you think happened in 1918? Yep, the end of World War I. So that's what we're going to put right here. Can we just say WW1? Yes, we can. Just like that. And does anybody know? What happened in 1921? Kyle? Uh, I think it was when World War II broke out. Mm, no, nope, that is later down the line. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the picture? We can look back. Let's look back at page number four. In 1921. Right there. In 1921, um, an, un an unknown soldier was buried in the tomb. It was the National Arlington National Nope. Until this day, we still not figured out who it is. So it's really called the unknown soldier. Thomas, they didn't say the name. I brought the three unknown soldier burials. He was completely gone. And this is it. Most yes. of them are held in Washington now. Yes, most of them are in Washington. And I've in our nation's capital, Washington D.C. I've been to three of them. Really? Okay. All right, so let's move on to 1939. What happened in 1939? Joe, what happened in 1939? In 1939, World War I happened? No. No, World, World War II. Yep, so in 1939, World, World War II broke out. <coughs> All right, and last but not least, let's see what happened in 1954. Can anyone tell me other than Joel and Kyle? And it's okay for us to look back. This way. So does anybody know what happened in 1954? So in 1954, they declared it a national holiday. So right here, it says, so in 1954, at the end of the Korean War, November 11th was proclaimed as a holiday. The year So this is what your timeline should look like. 
and we are all done. I know Miss Elise Wright's pretty big, so <laughs> you guys might be able to fit in there. Alrighty, and you can go back and color your red poppies as well as your soldiers, soldiers and your hearts. And later, if we have some time, we will go over and do a thank you letter. If we have time. But um, now it's time for lunch, so let's get ready. So.